Good afternoon, I'm Matt Malloy. The total solar eclipse is a little more than two weeks away, and while most people may reach for their special eclipse glasses, there are other ways to view the celestial event. 13 Wham's Natalie Calzatoni stopped by the Rochester Museum and Science Center today to learn about other eclipse viewing methods and viewing safety tips. Natalie, good evening. Good evening, Matt. There are many different ways you can enjoy and view the total solar eclipse on April 8th. From pinhole projections to solar filters, the Rochester Museum and Science Center has great tips on how to enjoy the big event. Everything from slotted spoons to even crackers. The tricky bit is that you need a cracker with a small hole. Dan Schneiderman says, in addition to viewing the spectacle in the sky with special eclipse glasses, you can use everyday objects like a colander as pinhole projectors. The trick is you do not want to look at the sun directly through the colander, but to look at the projection underneath. Schneiderman says you can get creative and use hole punches in an index card. So this is something you can do as a craft. You can make different size hole punches, different shapes but these work the exact same way. If you're looking for other methods to do a pinhole projector, well, you can use your hands just by interlocking them and holding them downwards. Or, you know, if there were a few more leaves up, just look at the shadows already on the ground. You can also get a solar filter to view the eclipse through a telescope, according to Schneiderman, who is the Eclipse Partnership Coordinator. While people may be tempted to view the eclipse through a phone or camera, Schneiderman says you could damage your eyes and phone if you're not careful. So if you do want to take a photo of the sun, uh, specifically the eclipse, you're going to want to put a filter in front of it. You can actually find filters for your cameras, some for phones, out there online through trusted resources. Schneiderman says while there has been some fake eclipse glasses seen out there, there are steps people can take to make sure their glasses are legit. Look at the ISO number on the glasses to make sure they have been tested. But if you are curious, we recommend checking the AAS Eclipse website. That's the American Astronomical Society. Uh, they, have, they have vetted manufacturers and vendors to make sure that Eclipse glasses are safe. We have more information about this and other Eclipse events on the Total Solar Eclipse page on 13WAM.com.